Hello everybody and thank you so much for watching. In part 1, we made the long rectangular piece that you see here. And in part 2, we will finish our poncho. Now we will add the square to our long piece to create the L shape and then attach it so we form the poncho shape. We will create a border to the bottom of the poncho and add a neckline. My piece is facing right side up and now we will add the square right here. I finished my first piece here with this returning row. That's the end of my first piece. As you can see we have beads along this seam right here. That is going to be our neckline and there are no beads over here. And now I will attach or start crocheting right here in this corner where this first square of the last row is on the previous piece. Here's our new beginning and I had 12 little squares here and that's how many I will make here. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 and then going up 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 and the 12th one. On the 12th square just make the one row with the triangles but don't finish it don't make the returning row because the returning row we will use to attach the rest of the poncho so only finish it to where you make those little triangles and then we will attach it to the rest but for now we will start right here on this corner and work our way back and forth I'm at the corner and here's the upper left corner of my last square and I will go, here's the bead and I will go to the stitch to the left of it and pull my new yarn through and now we will make five chains and not six. One, two, three, four, five this chain here will count as our double treble so we need to make only four the single crochet the half double the double and the treble And the double treble is right here already for us. Go to the right of the bead into that stitch and make a single crochet. Chain five again. One, two, three, four, five and repeat the single crochet. The half double. double and the treble then move to the next bead and to the right of it make the single crochet then repeat one two three four five chains a single a half double a double a treble and a single crochet next to the bead to the right into that stitch. I made my 12 triangles and I have to make one more single crochet to the right of the bead. Then we can start row 2 of the repeating pattern. Chain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and put a bead. Turn your work. Yep. 
and make a slip stitch into the top of the triangle. Then make a single crochet into the single crochet, a half double into the half double, a double and a treble. For the double treble yarn over three times and now we have to go into this stitch so you have the single crochet here. Go below that where the bead is right here and make the double treble. Pull through and then through two, two, two and two. Then put your bead and repeat into the top of the triangle make the slip stitch make the single crochet the half double the double the treble one two three yarn overs Here's the single, go below that right next to that bead and make the double treble. Pull through two, one, two, three, four times. Put your bead make the slip stitch single crochet half double, double, treble, and double treble. And then you can repeat this pattern till the end of the row. At the end of row two, I put my bead. I'm making my slip stitch into the top of the triangle. Then my single crochet, my half double, my double crochet. The treble. And this time we're making the double treble directly into the next stitch next to the treble. At the end of round two, we always make a second double treble into the single crochet, but we have the edge here, we don't have a single crochet. So we skip that stitch just this one time. Now we start round or row one again, chain two, chain one, I'm sorry and then make a single crochet into the same stitch. And now we have our single crochet. So when we come back in row two, we now have our new single crochet where we can make our double treble. And now we can continue our regular pattern with chain of six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Make the single crochet, the half double. the double, the treble, and the double treble into the last chain. Then go into where the bead is again and we repeat the same thing as we always do. Grab that one piece of yarn and make a single crochet and start the pattern again with a chain of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Make your five stitches and a single crochet next to the bead. I've made my 12 triangles. Now we'll make the single crochet next to the bead. Now 
and start row two, one, two, three, four, five, and that's just the row two that we always do at the bead. Turn your work and make a slip stitch into the top of the triangle. Then make your five stitches, the single, the half double, the double, the treble, and the double treble, add the bead and make a slip stitch into the next triangle and continue this pattern to the end of the row. At the end of this row I've made my five stitches and now I can make the double treble into the single crochet that we made in the previous row. And now you can start row one again the way we always do row one and row two the same exact way as we always done row two. Now I have to make one more row, my last returning row. I made my little triangles. This will be my last row going this way. So I have my 12 squares here and going across. Everything is right side up. Fold your poncho, fold the long piece over in half. Then fold your new square that you made in half. And now we will crochet starting right here where our yarn already is going this way going to the edge to the bottom of the poncho starting at the neckline going from the right to the left and we will connect with those chains right here i will start my last row with a chain of five again turn my work a little bit because we're looking at the wrong side so just turn it a little bit it should be good one two three four five chains and we don't need a bead because when you look on this side, we have a bead here already. Go into the corner, just as we always do. And now we also have to connect here. So I have 12 squares here and I will count starting from the edge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 squares so this is my connection here where the bead is on the right side of the square turn your work a little bit so you can see the bead and right next to it between that little piece of yarn and the bead put your hook from the right side and come come out on the wrong side and make a slip stitch through that pink yarn then the corner of the triangle and the chain of five and now we can start making our five stitches again make a single crochet into the single crochet and a single crochet into that chain on the pink piece on the second piece then a half double into the half double and a single crochet into the chain a double crochet into the double and a single crochet into the chain then our um, treble into the treble and a single crochet and the last one is the double treble and a single crochet so now we connected the first square and now we have to do the rest Go to the next triangle and make the slip stitch into that and also into the 
upper piece and make sure you're going to the right bead. It's easy to go into that one. Make sure it's the one right next to the single crochet we just made. There's the bead and a little piece of thread. I'm going right through that from the right side to the wrong side and pull my slip stitch through, through the triangle and through that single crochet. And now we can start the five stitches again. Single crochet into the single and a single crochet around the chain. Half double the single into the chain, the double, single around the chain, the treble, and the single crochet around the chain, and the double treble. single around the chain then move to the next triangle make a slip stitch also into the next bead between the bead and that piece of yarn make the slip stitch then start your five stitches again single crochet single into the chain space half double, single crochet into the chain space, double, single crochet into the chain space, treble, single crochet into the chain space, and the double treble, single crochet into the chain space, then go to your next triangle, slip stitch into the uh, top of the triangle, and between the bead and the piece of yarn and make the slip stitch and repeat that pattern all the way down till you get to the end here to the side of the poncho. I finished my seam. I have to make my last double treble. And a single crochet into the chain space. And then we make our last double treble into the single crochet. And this time when you look, you turn your work where the double treble is. Here's the beginning of our other piece, this is where we started. And I make one more single crochet right where these two, where the double treble is coming out of, right here. I make my last single crochet. This is how my seam looks from the wrong side. And this is how it looks from the right side. Now we'll start with my border. I'm still looking at the wrong side, but I will turn my work this way. So now I'm looking at my beads. This is the right side. And you can flip that over so everything is right side. Now I will make Solomon's knots with picots. Pull a long loop and pull the yarn through that loop. And you can hold it with your thumb. Then pull the yarn through the left side of the loop. One time. So now you have two loops on the hook and pull through two. That's the first Solomon knot. Now we make a picot, three chain picot. One, two, three chains. And I go right where those two little legs are of yarn. Looks like an arrow up. And I make a single crochet. And the second Solomon knot. Pull the yarn long, pull through the loop, 
then pull through the left side of that loop the one piece of yarn pull through once and then through two loops and now we make a single crochet around everything of the previous piece just go in between the two squares around the whole thing and make a single crochet then a Solomon's knot again pull long pull through the loop to the left to two loops one two three chains the pico I go through the two pieces of yarn and make a single crochet then the second Solomon pull long pull through the first loop to the left side pull through once and then through two loops and then I go to the next square in between those two square around the whole thing and make a single crochet Solomon knot one two three chain pico single crochet Solomon knot single crochet in between the two squares and repeat that until you get to the corner I'm at the corner I made my single crochet between the last two squares a Solomon a picot and a Solomon now I will go into the stitch to the left right on top of the square so we have two stitches one here and one here and I'm going to the left and I make sure I have two pieces of yarn on my hook I make a single crochet a Solomon three chain pico and Solomon then into the same stitch I make a single crochet and this is our increase make a Solomon three chain pico Solomon and into the same chain into the same stitch I'm sorry make another single crochet make a Solomon three chain pico Solomon and again into the same stitch a single crochet so we have the three pairs Solomon with the pico one two and three into the same stitch and now we continue with our pattern Solomon three chains pico Solomon now on this side we go in again in between the two squares and make a single crochet and then repeat to Solomon I'm sorry a Solomon a pico and a Solomon and then in between the squares the single crochet it's the same thing on this side that we did on the first side and in the corner we will increase again I'm at my second corner and I will repeat those three pairs right here is the end of our first piece that we made here's the double treble and I go right into that double treble 
and make a single crochet. Then I start my three pairs of Solomon knots. Let's double check. One, two, three pairs into the corner. And now continue the pattern. Solomon. Three chain picot. Solomon. And now between the next two square, the first and the second, make the single crochet again and repeat this until we get to where we first started and I will show you how to make the second round. I reached the end and I started a, a round counter so we know where we are and now we have to start a new round and we only make one Solomon's knot and a picot. The second Solomon's knot we make like this. Yarn over once. Then where we started the first Solomon knot, go into that stitch and pull a long loop. And then make a slip stitch through all three loops. Then go kind of a little bit back like this, go into your picot and make a slip stitch. Now we can start a new round and that's round two. And we will do the same thing, make a Solomon knot, a three chain picot. A Solomon knot. Then go on top of the next pair where we made the pico and into that pico make a single crochet and then start again Solomon knot, three chain pico, Solomon Go on top of the next picot and make a single crochet and do that until you reach the corner. I'm at the corner. I made my Solomon, my picot and my Solomon. Here are my three pairs, one, two, three, and I'm going into the first one, into the chain of three, into that picot, make a single crochet, a Solomon, the pico and a Solomon. Then go into the second and repeat. Make the single crochet and then make a Solomon, a pico and a Solomon, and then go into the third one and repeat it, and then make the same pattern go into every Pico and repeat the pair of two Solomons with the pico in the middle. And you can do that pattern on the other corner as well. This is how the corners are looking. Here are the three pairs of the previous round. And then in between we have two new ones now. And I will finish this round yarn over, go into that 
chain of 3 picot and pull a long loop. Then pull through all three loops. Then go into that picot a little bit backwards, go into the chain 3 picot and make a slip stitch. And start round three. Make a Solomon. The three chain pico. Solomon. And move again into the next three chain pico. Sometimes it may be a little bit twisted. Make sure the three chains are on top. Make the single crochet and repeat the Solomon. Three chain pico. And Solomon. And single crochet into the next three chain pico. And you can repeat that all the way around. We're not making any increases into the corner until the next round. So go into every three chain pico. This is how the corners look in round three. And then we'll finish round three the same way we did all the other rounds. Yarn over, go into the chain of the pico Pull a long loop and then pull through all three loops. Go a little back and make a slip stitch into the chain. And start round four. Round four is the same way. Make the Solomon, the three chain pico, the Solomon. Then go to the next picot and start the Solomon, the picot and the Solomon. And in this round, we will increase in the corner again. We made three pairs of um, Solomons in the first round to increase and we're doing the same now. So here's the second one, the middle. Here is the picot and here's the picot that goes into the middle. And here I will make the three pairs again of Solomon knots and the pico in the middle. I will make three pairs of Solomon, pico and Solomon all into that chain of three where the pico is, right into that chain. Now I made my three groups and now I can move on with my regular pattern. Solomon knot, picot, Solomon knot, and into the next Pico, single crochet, and you can repeat that all the way around. In the other corner, also increase the same way we did here. I finished nine rounds. Round one, where we made the three pairs. Round two and three, just regular rounds, no increase. Round four, we made the increase again. Then I crocheted again two regular rounds. 
round five and six, no increase. And then round seven, I made an increase again in the middle, just like we did in round four. The same way, I picked the middle, I looked here, and I made the three pairs of Solomon knots with the picots. Then round eight and nine, just regular round, no increase. So we made an increase in round one, four, and seven. And now the tenth round will be my final round and we will make puff stitches. I'm finishing round nine. Pull my long loop. Make a slip stitch into the three chain pico and start round ten. Make a Solomon and now we will make a four yarn over puff stitch instead of the pico. Pull your loop long, yarn over once, go through the two pieces of yarn and pull a long loop. Yarn over twice and do it again, pull the yarn through. Make sure they're all the same length. Yarn over three times, do it again, pull through. Yarn over four times and pull through. And all these pieces should be the same length and you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine loops on your hook. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Pull through all of the loops and make a chain. Then make one, two, three, four, five more chains and a slip stitch where we pulled all the pieces of yarn through on our puff stitch make the slip stitch and now we will make the second Solomon knot like we always do. Then go to your next picot and make the single crochet and then repeat. Make the picot, I'm sorry, make the Solomon. Then the puff stitch one yarn over two yarn overs, three yarn overs, and four yarn overs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine loops on the hook, pull through all of them. Make a chain, then five more chains. One, two, three, four, five. And make a slip stitch on the bottom of your puff stitch. And a Solomon. And then go to your next picot. Make the single crochet into the chain of the picot and then repeat the Solomon. Then a five yarn over puff stitch, a chain to close it, five more chains to go down, a slip stitch and a Solomon knot. And in the tenth round I will increase again in the corner. I look at the previous increase and I just take the Solomon knot in the middle and I go up and I know this is the middle, so I make my increase here with three pairs of Solomon knots. And then instead of the picot, I make the puff stitch and I do the same thing on the other corner. I'm finishing my last round with a Solomon knot. And then I go to the beginning and make a slip stitch into the three chain pico. And the bottom border of our poncho is done. At the neckline I'm going between any two squares. You can start anywhere and I pull my yarn through 
I'm going to make three chains. One, two, three, and then five more double crochet. One, two, three, four, five. So we all together with the chain have six double crochet. Then I go into the chain and make a single crochet. Then six double crochet into the next chain space. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Make a single crochet in the chain space. And when you get to where the two pieces meet, make a chain of two, a single crochet in between the two pieces, chain two, make a single crochet into the chain and then continue with the pattern. Six double crochet, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Go into the chain space and make a single crochet and then make six double crochet between the squares, single crochet in the chain. I'm at the second part where my two pieces meet. I made a single crochet in the chain. Then I chain two. Then I go in between the two pieces where the two pieces meet and make a single crochet. Chain two. Go into the chain and make a single crochet and start again with the six doubles in between the squares one two three four five and six and then the single crochet into the chain space and the six doubles in between the squares. At the end of the round I make my last single crochet into the chain and a slip stitch into the third chain. And that is our neckline. Our poncho is finished. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.